Well, go on everybody. Lennox here from Simple One Two Three Trader. This is a outlook uh, for the cryptocurrencies for the week of October twenty fourth to the twenty ninth. Hope everybody's doing well and are safe. I'm going to take a look at uh, a few of the uh, cryptocurrencies. I'm going to uh, kind of stick to the major ones: Bitcoin, Litecoin, and so forth. From last week, um, we looked at Bitcoin, and uh, at that time, of course, we look at I'm on the weekly chart. So last week's uh, bar was sitting right here. So my my analysis was that we would get a a breach of the previous high, and then a retrace back down. And as you can see, last week, indeed we did breach the previous high come to a new high of 66.927 previous high was 64.374 so we broke that previous high and as you can see we have come back down again so what's going to happen this week what is this bar going to do is it going to continue going up or is it going to come back down so let's take a closer look and see uh, what uh, is expected for this week so base basically I would be saying, okay, uh, this week, this bar is going to do this, or this bar is going to do this, or this bar is going to, you know, stay, stay basically the same. We only have three choices, really. It's either going to stay right where it is, or it's going to go up, or it's going to come down. So which, which way is it going to go? And if you kind of keep that in mind, that in essence, the, the chart only goes in two directions, up or down, you know, it's chart doesn't go sideways per se it's 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 either up or down so which way is this going to really go so let's take a look at the daily and on the daily so what i'm going to actually what i'm going to do let me just i'm going to just show you something here i'm going to go back to the weekly and i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to highlight this is this is very this will be interesting for you i'm going to highlight last week's bar and this week's bar okay so now let me just make this a, a easier color to see and okay so there we go all right so so we've got the two bars so now when we drop down to the lower time frame we'll get a good idea of where we are so there we're just looking at these bars so this is on the daily now so on the daily last week um, we pushed up to new highs came back down so are we going to push back up now in in five bars up or we're going to come back down this is the key question at this point all right so on the daily looking we've come back down we've come back down into a support area and now we're looking either to bounce or to continue down so which one will it be here's the next the next support area is here next support area is here okay uh resistance of course is up here so let's see if we drop down to a little lower on the four hour we'll see if we can see what's going to happen okay so now we can get a good idea so here's here's one one way we can look at it as well i'm going to just mark this up a little bit so you can get a good idea of what i'm seeing and how i look at this so if i drew a trend line on these guys here okay so make sure i have my magnet on okay so i've got a trend line we've broken that trend line to the downside so does that mean that we're going to continue going down or does it mean that we've come back to a support area and we're going to rise okay this is the this is a key question going into uh this week all right so again support area here support area here okay and so either we're going to come back down one more time or we're going to push to the upside so right now uh, as i'm seeing it because we broke that trend line that's very that's that's huge so I'm not seeing a um, a setup that's going to take us further down. I'm not seeing that at this point here. Yes, we could we could come down, but I don't see the setup doing that at this point. We're at this level. I'm kind of seeing a push back up uh, for this week. So this is a four hour time frame. So when I come down to the one hour time frame, just one more time frame down, and then take a closer look. So now at this level, I can see what's really going on. So now I can see my structure playing out so now i'm seeing that oh wait a minute we could indeed 
still have one more one more to go okay so we're kind of chopping up and down in here so i'm kind of seeing a little push to the upside short term back into this area even even up to this area here we could come into this area this is just a short term i'm seeing a drop uh taking place in the very short term okay so movement to the upside and then a movement to the downside that's what i'm kind of seeing with bitcoin uh here in the short term so um longer term over the course of the week we could see so let me go back up again to the four hour we could see so in the short term a, a push and then a, 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 another drop back down maybe back down to this support area we could even come out as far down as here okay so we could be coming back into the 50s uh no problem at all okay but after that we could see push back up either from here or from here so one of these is going to take precedence I'm not sure which one at this point but uh, this is kind of what I'm seeing overall for Bitcoin. Now that's a, I'm taking a you know a long look at Bitcoin, but that's uh, that's an interesting one. All right, let's take a look at uh, Ethereum and see how that one stacks up against Bitcoin. So let's uh, go to the weekly on that one. So Bitcoin, the high, the previous high was four thousand three fifty two eleven. 4,365. So we broke to a new high as well and was rejected. So on the daily, so this is what I call for. So now at this point, um, what I can see here, our structure has taken us to this new high and now we've been rejected. I can see a little bit of a move back up and then a, a drop back down, even back down to this area here. Okay, so let's go a little closer look at it on the four hour. Okay, so it, it it looks it's still trying to to push up, and that's what I again I'm expecting a little bit of a push up, but then all bets are off and we're coming back down. So I don't see a new high being broken, the the previous high being broken this week. This week I'm seeing prices uh, make maybe looking to take a tumble um, shortly. Okay, so uh, similar to what um, Bitcoin is doing, we'll see a little push up but short-lived and then we're coming back down um, imminently all right so that's my take on bitcoin and ethereum so let's take a look at litecoin okay so just stick with the the, the major guys litecoin on the monthly okay pretty pretty dramatic moves pretty dramatic drops uh, so strong movements up big movements back down now it's trying hard to push back to the upside. So on the daily, we are trying again to, to uh, break these previous highs that's just set recently. So um, it looks like we're gonna be pushing again up to these highs here, but uh, it's, it's a pretty strong re resistance here. So don't know if it's gonna break through, but for a movement up in Litecoin uh, in the short term, it looks like. If, if I'm co completely wrong, then uh, this is gonna continue back down. Um, for the foreseeable but right now it looks like we should push to the upside at, at least in the short term okay so that's a look at uh litecoin this is only on the daily so um yeah okay so what what's happening here if i go back to the daily uh, actually you can't see it that well on the weekly you can see it so this move here is now being retraced so this is going to be a short-lived move to the upside and then we're going to come back down to retrace we're going to be retracing this move just like how we retrace this move to here we're going to retrace this move to here something like that. okay all right so another thing to keep in mind it's it's when i when i talk about retracements we get a we get a strong move like i'll start from here we get a strong move to the upside we get a retracement of that move so the move to the upside we get a retracement of that move back down okay we get a strong move all the way up to here we get a retracement of that move down, back down. We get a strong move here, we get a retracement of that move. We get a move here, we get a retracement of that move. So it's just a, a continual up, down, up, down, up, down cycle. And once you understand and can see what's going on with these cycles, you can make money, you can make profits, okay? You can make good analysis, you can make um, proper um, entries and exits. You can even go right down to the one minute chart to the, you know, to 
to make uh, entries and so forth. Once you understand the overall concept and the overall uh, wh where you are on the on the structure of that chart. Okay, let's take a look at XRP. That's another one I want to take a look at. So XRP on the weekly. So it too. So again, same same kind of thing holds. You get a move to the upside, you get a retracement. You get a move to the upside, you get a retracement. You get a move to the upside, you get a retracement. Another move to the upside, you get a retracement. So this one is moving to the upside. So I would expect a continued move because we're retracing this this current move to, to the upside. Okay, so I would. It's just as simple as that. I would expect a continued uh, move to the upside. So right now, that's what it's doing, and our structure is, is holding is intact. And I would expect that move back up into this area for uh, XRP. So uh, opportunity, if anyone wants to buy XRP at this level, uh, at a 107, we could be hitting 130 area, uh, 135 area, uh, in the not too distant future. Okay, so that's a quick look at XRP. And I'll do one more and I'll call it because it's getting uh, getting a bit uh, long in this video. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at Link. Okay, let's take a look at Link. All right, on the weekly. Okay, so again, similar similar dance. Uh, this whole this whole thing way up, retrace of that move way up again another retrace of that move so we're on our way up again so really we're just retracing this move back up so right now let's take a look at it a little closer on the daily and we you can see we moved up we came back or retraced so now we're moving back up again so right now overall the structure i'm seeing we have another push to come uh back so we're looking like strength is here to push us back maybe we'll break these highs uh shortly okay so uh, continued movement to the upside for link it looks uh pretty good uh, in the short term here at least all right so that's a look at some of the cryptos i don't want to make this too long um profitable trading to everyone be safe madonna thank you